Hey everyone, Dr. Mongli here. Today, let me explain you on classification of enzymes. Hundreds and hundreds of metabolic enzymes that, that are there in our body can be classified systematically into six categories. And those six categories are oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, lyases, isomerases, and ligases. These are the six class of enzymes that can fit in hundreds and hundreds of enzymes that are there in our metabolic pathways. Now what is oxidoreductases? Oxidoreductases, they are going to catalyze oxidation reduction reactions in our body. So as you all might be knowing, oxidation is a loss of electron and reduction is a gain of electrons. So, oxidoreductases, they catalyze such reaction where there is oxidation and reduction is going on. Example for oxidoreductases I have given here is lactate dehydrogenase. So, for that matter, remember oxidoreductases, they all end with dehydrogenase. Whenever you come across an enzyme name ending with dehydrogenase, or ending with reductase, any enzyme that ends with reductase, or any enzyme that ends with oxidase, you can safely classify those enzymes into oxidoreductases. So majority of oxidoreductase enzymes, they end their name ends with dehydrogenase. That's their surname. Sometimes they end with reductase or they end with oxidase. They all belong to oxidoreductases. Now second category is transferases. Transferase enzymes, they transfer some functional group from one substrate to another substrate. That's what the transferases does. Now one of the most common transferase or one of the most common group that is transferred in our body is phosphate transfer of phosphate from ATP into a substrate. Majority of time the transfer of phosphate it will be done by enzymes that ends with kinase. So any enzyme that ends with kinase, so remember they belong to transferase category of enzyme. So transferase cat category of enzymes they all end with kinase. Example that I have given here is pyruvate kinase enzyme. Now hydrolases. Hydrolases they are basically they add water and break the compound. Majority of time our digestive enzyme that is the gastrointestinal enzymes which are participating in the digestion process most of them they belong to lac uh, hydrolase category of enzyme. Example that I have given here is lactase. Lactase is going to break down lactose, that's a milk sugar, into glucose and galactose by adding water. Now, the fourth category of enzymes are lyases. Lyases, they work similar to hydrolases in, like, basically they break a bigger compound into simpler ones, but without adding water. So lyases, they don't add water, but they break the compound. Whereas hydrolases, they break the compound by adding water. That's the difference between hydrolase, as it is there in the name, hydrolase, it adds water. Whereas lyases, they don't add, add water, but they break the compound. Example, aldolase. Aldolase is a glycolytic enzyme. Is going to break down fructose 1,6-biphosphate into glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone-phosphate. Now isomerases. Isomerases, they catalyze isomerization reaction. It can be geometrical isomerization, optical isomerization or it can be positional isomerization. Isomerases simply, they rearrange atoms within a molecule. They are not going to add any anything, they are not going to remove anything from a molecule. They simply just rearrange atoms within a molecule. Those enzymes, they belong to isomerase category of enzymes. Now the example for isomerase is phosphoexose isomerase. Isomerases generally they end as isomerase or sometimes they end as epimerase. Epimerase 
which will participate in epimerization reaction or racemase sometimes they end as racemase or sometimes their name ends as mutase mu mutarotation that kind of reaction so isomerase mutase epimerase and racemase these are the surnames for isomerase class of enzyme now let's move on to see our last category that is ligases ligases basically they ligate two simple compounds and make it little bigger and ligases they catalyze endergonic reaction so where two things two simple things are connected with one another to make a bigger compound and uh, these ligases they use atp to do that and they need biotin this is a uh, one of the vitamin water soluble vitamin biotin and they need carbon dioxide in fact ligases they need something referred as a b and c ligases they need atp they need biotin they need carbon dioxide and majority of time ligases they end as carboxylase that's the surname for ligase carboxylase all carboxylase except vitamin k dependent carboxylase they all belong means they all need biotin whereas other carboxylases other than vitamin k dependent carboxylase they all need biotin but vitamin k dependent carboxylase as it as the name says it needs vitamin k but all ligases they belong to means they end with carboxylase name now let's quickly review all the enzymes that we have just now we have seen oxido reductases they catalyze oxidation reduction reaction and their surname is dehydrogenase majority of time they end as dehydrogenase or reductase or oxidases transferases they transfer a functional group most of the time they end as kinase hydrolases are digestive enzymes they add water and break the compound lyases they do not add water but still break the compound by insertion of double bonds isomerases they participate in isomerization reaction and most of the time they either end as isomerase or mutase or epimerase or racemase lyases they ligate two simple things to make a bigger compound for this they need atp they need biotin and they need carbon dioxide because they add carbon to a molecule so most of the time ligases they end as carboxylase so these are all the classification of enzymes i hope this video helped you in understanding classification of enzymes thanks for watching see you again in some other video take care